guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be doing some back to school inspired teacher coasters and i just wanted to play around with casting or um mold or uh putting stuff in a in deep casting is what i'm trying to say but um so here i am just mixing my epoxy so i took all in all 60 mls of each um of my part a and my part b just because i wanted to have enough to cover my pencils my colored pencils my crayons my um thumbtacks my um paper clips that i got from work and also my glitter so here i am just showing you how thick i made my base now i did not have to make this thick like how thick it is like about an inch thick i didn't have to do that how ever i wanted to just for the simple fact that i didn't want the bottom to be too thin um so here i am um this first coaster is pretty much in real time so i took my pencil all of this i found in my house so um yeah <laughs> so i took my pencils i took my paper clips and i just laid them out sort of strategically but i knew that i wanted everything to be kind of spaced out like I knew I wanted each color of the paper clip. I knew I wanted each color of the thumbtack. And then for the purple colored pencil and the black or the white crayon, I went with sort of like, for instance, the white crayon, I did black and white. And then I did, um, I paired it with some glitter. So here I am just going through, seeing what kind of paper clip I want to use. Um, yeah, and I was like, you know, it doesn't need any more paper clips, I don't think. So I was just playing around with it, and that's kind of what you want to do. Um, so when you're pouring your resin into the mold, you want to make sure that it is covering everything that you are wanting to seal. So um, that's the glitter that I wanted to use. It's pretty much a chunky glitter that is green. It has green hearts, red hearts, and some white dots. I thought it was pretty it looks like Christmas glitter but it's pretty it goes pretty well with the back to school theme that I was going for so back to what I was saying so you want to make sure that your casting is the word that I'm looking for you want to make sure you're casting your objects well so I ended up putting a second layer of resin and my second layer I only did 30 mls of each of part a and part b and i'll insert a clip here and um so in my part in my second part when i did it i pretty much just went over it to make sure that it was covered i did not sand anything or anything like that um it wasn't necessary and i i, I did have some things peeking out or sticking out which was okay that's what going into going on going over it with another layer will help you with but um yeah so i'm just placing my glitter wherever i want it and then i pretty much poured my resin on top and i actually really liked it i thought that it was a pretty easy and fun project and it is really simple and easy to do um as you can see i do have other coasters that i'm working on in the background but i just wanted to play around with some of with some of the things i had laying around my house um but yeah so I'm going to be quiet now and I'll probably jump back in towards the end. But once I was done with casting all of my pens or my pencils, my crayons, my color pencils, my paper clips, my glitter, all of that, I sprayed it with 91% alcohol. And I also um, took my torch and popped out any air bubbles. You don't have to do that because you can burn your mold and your objects as well that's in there but I did it anyways to pop any bubbles but um yeah I'll come back in the video towards the end and just kind of tell you guys I did let each layer sit for 24 hours I do want you guys to know that please let this sit a day before you do anything to your resin to your coaster but um yeah so this is in real time the next two are going to be a little bit sped up but I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back for my final thoughts.